is very important that you learn how to take the dryer apart and how to put it back together again properly before trying to do any of the repairs. Always disconnect the dryer from the wall outlet before doing any work on it. Remove the lint filter. Unscrew these two screws. Use a flat screwdriver to pry open the top panel. Lift the top panel and lean it against the wall. Open the door on the dryer and use the drum baffles to turn the drum. Turn the drum until one row of the baffle screws is on the top position like this. Measure the distance from this hole to the screw. Get a piece of coat hanger wire and bend it like this. Loosen this screw until the head is sticking out. Hook the wire between the head of the screw and the hole on the frame. Use a small flat screwdriver to disconnect the door switch from the wire harness, like this. You will need to remove these two screws to remove the front panel. You will also need to lift the front panel to unhook it from the front panel holding hooks. Go ahead and remove the two front panel holding screws. Push the front panel out a little bit to disengage it from the drum. Lift the corners of the front panel to unhook it from the two front panel holding hooks. And move the front panel away from the working area. The coat hanger wire holds the drum in place and it makes it easier to work. Disconnect the belt from the motor pulley and remove the idler pulley. Remove the coat hanger wire and take out the drum with the belt. Now you can get access to the drum rollers, the idler pulley, the motor, and the blower wheel. Let me show you how to put it all back together the right way. Put the drum inside of the dryer on top of the drum rollers. Turn the drum around to make sure that the drum is riding on top of the rollers and the rollers are riding on the groove of the drum. Find the drum baffle screw that you loosened before and make sure is on the top. Hook the coat hanger wire from the head of the screw to the hole on the back panel. This will hold the drum in place and it will make it easier to install the belt and the front panel. Use the mark of the belt on the drum as a reference to where you should put the belt on the drum. Place the belt around the drum. Make sure that the belt is not twisted. Make sure that ridges on the belt are facing the drum. If the ridges are facing away from the drum, the belt is installed wrong. Place the idler pulley on the two holes on the dryer floor and hold it with your right hand. Place the belt on top of the slide. Push it through the pulley with your finger. Grab it with your right hand. Push the idler pulley to the right and place the belt around the motor pulley. Use the same procedure to install the idler pulley with the wheel instead of a slide. Place the front panel in front of the dryer. Hook the bottom of the front panel on the two hooks. Secure the front panel with the two holding screws.
Remove the coat hanger wire and tighten the baffle screw. Turn the drum to make sure that the front of the drum rides on the front felt bearing. Also make sure that the rear drum seal is sealing properly. Use a flat screwdriver to set it back in place. Connect the door switch to the wire harness. Make sure you make a good connection. Lower the top panel. Align it. And push down to snap it in place. Screw in these two screws. And install the lint filter. That was the easier way to take the dryer apart and put it back together again properly.